about the story called The Last Leaf, a sad story with a happy end. The story is written by O. Henry. It illustrates the magic of true love, support, care and education. The story tells us about two friends who have their happy and sorrow moments and all the sad events which they overcome together. I fell in love with the Jane at the first sight. I didn't have my own family, that's why I gave all my affection and love to Jane, who was defenseless and alone among others. I taught her what I could do myself, draw and speak in French. I always encouraged her, and according to Jane, she trusted me and saw me as her own mother. Also, I taught her the most important things, being steadfast and not to look into herself. Wouldn't it be fun if all the castles in the air which we made could come true and we could live in them? I have made such quantities, it would be hard to choose which I would have. You would have to take a favorite one. What is it? If I tell mine, will you tell yours? We will. Now, Larry. After I would sing as much of the world as I want to, I would like to settle in Germany and... I had walked in the reading room, a happy, healthy man. I crawled out, a decrepit wreck. I'd like to tell the story about two desperate men who stole me in the summit, the town as flat as pan. They thought kidnapping project would bring them lots of wealth. They didn't even worry what happened to them next. It's time for me to tell you a few words of who I am. I am the son of Dosset, the most respectable man. I am a boy of ten with freckles on my nose. I am Alabama Red Chief that everybody knows. Christmas is coming, geese are getting fed. Please put a penny in old man's heads. If you have got a penny, a half penny will do. If you haven't got a half penny, then God bless you. I know who you are. I studied the legends. And I am fully aware that I am addressing Count Dracula. The sun is down. You don't need to hide anymore. Or are you too afraid to step from the shadows? I'm not sure what legends you've been reading, but bells don't have any effect on me. <laughs> this is exciting. Sisters, present arms. <laughs> I see my arrival was anticipated. I was aware of the possibility. Hello, ladies. I don't want to worry you. Well, isn't anyone going to invite me in? I've come a long way to see you. This story is about Igor Matilda, who was orphaned shortly after she was born and brought up by her six aunts. Each day of the week she had classes with each of her aunts. Only on Sundays Matilda was free to do what she liked and thank her seventh aunt for leaving to foreign lands many years ago. Thank you, Mr. Donovan. 
I shall be very glad to have your company. You are very kind. His name was Fernando Mazin, and he was an Italian count. He had a lot of land in Italy and a villa. We were going to get married next spring. Fernanda went to Italy to make his villa ready for us. Andrew stood up. He saw that every eye was directed towards him. He was pale. A feel of cold emptiness lay in his stomach. He began speaking with sudden bitterness. There was a silence. A, a moment passed. What do you drink? Frops corner. All giants is drinking frops corner. Here is frops corner. Delicious fizzy frops corner. But look, it's facing the wrong way. In our fizzy drinks, the bubbles always go up and burst at the top. I was so impressed by Emil Brandt's novel, I read it in one breath. It changed my opinion about love, so don't miss it. I definitely recommend it. Thank you for your attention. I pronounce judgment to this effect. That, that a greater fool than Jane Eyre could never breathe the breath of life. That a more fantastic idiot had never suffered herself from sweet lies and swallowed poison as if, as if, as if it were an actor. You, I said, if you heard it with Mr. Rochester, you gifted with the power.